Uh, this watch has one of the best stopwatches that Casio makes. Uh, not only because it's a 100 hour stopwatch, whereas normal wa uh, stopwatches are 24 hours and some that are uh, worse are up to one hour, but it also measures uh, up to one thousandth of a second as it's displayed here. Also, it uses, it has two modes for a stopwatch. If you press the adjust button, uh, while the stopwatch is not running, you can uh, toggle between these two modes. The first one is the split mode, which is the standard Casio stopwatch. So you can start it, stop it, reset it. You can do a split time. You start it, you press the adjust, and it shows the split time. Then resumes back to stopwatch. You stop it, you reset it, and you can do the first and second time. You start the stopwatch. Pressing the adjust button shows the, let's say if you have two runners or two racers, the first one uh, crosses the line, you press this button, it shows its time, you take a note. When the second one passes through, you press this button and it shows his time and then you reset it. So that's the first mode and it's the standard stopwatch that's found on probably 90% of Casio watches. Uh, the second mode is the lap stopwatch. Uh, what that means is that once you start it and pressing the adjust uh, mode measures that lap and then the, the let's say we'll do a 10, 10, 10 second lap. You just did a 10 second lap and now as you can see it displays the time but pressing this again doesn't add up but restarts from zero and shows you the next lap and it says the number of laps. So again now this lap was 7 uh, seconds this lap was three seconds this lap was two seconds so you get the picture uh, also this lap time is displayed for 12 uh, 12 seconds and then uh, the stopwatch resumes so you'll see when 12 seconds passes there you see it started going again uh, again you can stop it and you can reset it the only bad thing about this lap stopwatch is that it doesn't have lap memory like some better uh, stopwatches the Casio makes. So you can only take notes of your laps, but you ca it, they can be kept in memory so you can retrieve them later, which is a pity. If they added that, it would be a perfect stopwatch. Uh, also, there is another uh, hidden function. It's not really hidden, but many people don't know about it. Uh, if you noticed when I start the stopwatch and when I stop it, this little needle starts moving around and these segments get turned on and off. Uh, what this is, is actually an average speed uh, calculation. So the watch calculates the average speed uh, by itself, so you don't have to do it in your head. In your head. Uh, so let's switch to normal stopwatch. Uh, let's say you start a stopwatch, and this is by default set to one mile or one kilometer. So let's say one mile. And uh, if you're doing 60 miles an hour, that's uh, 60 miles in 60 minutes, which means that one mile is one minute. So in that logic, if you go, uh, if you do it in 30 seconds, it's going to be 120 miles per hour because it's half. So we'll stop it at 30 seconds, and this watch should display 120 miles or kilometers. So let's wait 30 seconds. 29, 30, there, and it said, you see, here you have 100, 12, 500, 800, so this is 100, and 10, 20, so 120 miles per hour, if you passed one mile in 30 seconds, let's reset it, by that logic, if you pay, if you passed uh, one mile in 15 seconds, that will mean that you're traveling at 240 miles per hour, so let's test that. So we'll stop the stopwatch once it reaches 15 seconds and the watch should display uh, uh, 240 miles an hour. So let's see. 12, 13, 14, 15. You see these two segments are 100. 100, 238 because I passed the 15 seconds by a couple of hundreds of a second. So it's 238.39 somewhere around there so as you can see this is a nifty feature uh, let's say when I used to travel with a bus and we have mile markers on our highways and I would always use a stopwatch and do the arithmetics in my head to see how fast the bus was going but with this watch you just stop the stopwatch and it does that by itself uh, also uh, it can measure 
up to 1,800 miles per hour or kilometers per hour. Uh, uh, if you uh, do it over that speed, it's going to say over because it's not measurable by it. So let's say you do uh, one mile in one second, start or half a second. As you can see, the little needle shows at over because you uh, went past the speed that it can display. Uh, now let's try and do uh, two seconds, one mile in two seconds, one, two and a half, let's say. Now this is measurable and not only that, but as you can see, these segments go up to 1000. But if the 1000 is displayed on like here and then there are segments after it, that means that you start at 1000. So this is 1000, 100, 200, 300, 1400 and... 50, 60, 70. So 100, uh, 1,470 miles per hour if you do uh, one mile in 2.5 2 2 seconds. And also one thing to note, because this has a bit of a, it's a bit of a homage to uh, aviation instruments. Uh, once you go past 1,200 kilometers per hour, uh, this little Mach uh, indicator uh, lights up here. And that's about it. Also, uh, this is set up by default for one mile or one kilometer, but you can set it to any distance you want. So uh, it, to do that, the stopwatch cannot be running, and then you press and hold the adjust button. Three or more seconds, and it switches to distance. So now you can enter any number between 1 and 99. And also, you can do uh, tens of the mile or kilometer. So you can do 99.5 or something. So if you're traveling by bike or if you're running or you're traveling, I don't know, with your car on a road trip, uh, you can set up the distance here and start the stopwatch. Once you reach your destination, when you stop the stopwatch, it's gonna display the average speed that you had during that trip right over here. Uh, now I say it can do it for any distance because this goes to 99, but that's not limited to 99 because let's say if you had to travel 600 miles, uh, you would set this up to 60. And then when you stop the stopwatch, the speed that it displays, you just add a zero to get uh, your average speed. So this has almost a uh, limitless possibility when it comes to distance. It's a really cool feature and it's a good conversation starter. And I was amazed at how little, uh, how few people knew that their watches have that. Uh, they just assumed that this is a, that they call it eye candy, that it's just spinning, I don't know, without any sense when it's not true. It actually, it actually has a function and it serves a purpose. So that's about it when it comes to the stopwatch. Pressing the adjust exits the distance setting. So the next